Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on lesson 2-7, and that means we're on page 81. So make sure that you have your robot turtle book open. You're on page 81. If not, pause the video, make sure you get to page 81, then press play. All right, but if you're all set, we're going to keep on going. And today we're really going to focus on how addition and subtraction are related, how they can help you find the answer to the other. And you're probably thinking, I'm crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's true. All right, so let's read this little story problem, and we're going to go through it step by step. Now, before we start, what I would like you to do is draw this picture that I drew here. You have the number six on top, and then you have a square with a line down the middle. Now, this is called a part, part, whole chart. So, the whole number, it, you know, our big total, is the number that's on top. And then each part will go inside this uh, square that's divided into two parts. So, each section will have its own number of dots, and we're going to use this to help us solve some math problems today. So, as we read, let's make sure we circle all the numbers we hear to find out what we got to get done. So Jenna has six balls. So make sure you circle the number six. Then four balls blow away. Got to make sure you circle that number four. How many balls does she have left? Okay. And when they say have left, that's going to mean subtraction. So we can actually plug these numbers into this subtraction side right here. So let's go ahead and do that. If we're going to subtract these two numbers, 6 and 4, which one needs to go in the first spot? Is it 6 or 4? It's going to be 6 because it's the bigger number. When we're subtracting, we always write the biggest number first. Because you can take away 4 from 6, right? But we can't take 6 things away from 4. That just it, it doesn't work. It's too much. So if 6 goes first, that means 4 goes second. So we have our subtraction sets and set up. And if you're having trouble with subtraction, and this is too hard to solve this way, well, don't worry. There's another way we can write this. Check this out. We can actually write this as an addition problem that might look a little familiar. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our big number, right, our total, 6, and that would actually be the answer to our addition sentence. Whatever the big number is in a subtraction sentence, that would be the answer in addition. And the part we know is 4. So we can put the 4 right there. So we now took the same two numbers and we made a subtraction sentence and an addition sentence. Now, if your eyes are, you know, shooting out of your head like a cartoon character because you're like, oh my gosh, what is going on? J don't worry. We're going to practice. Don't worry. And now let's take these two numbers and use them in our chart. So we have six as our big number, right? So that goes on top of the chart. Next, we have one part that we know, which is four. So that means on one side, we need four circles. Let's go ahead and draw those four circles. One, two, three, and four. Now how this works is we are going to count on from four all the way to six, but we're going to be drawing on the other side, okay? Because we need to find out the next part. And the next part is what we are going to be drawing. So we have... One, two, three, four circles, right? But we need a total of six circles in this whole picture. So we need to keep drawing them until we have six. So we can so we're gonna start at four and we're gonna count on on the other side. After four we have five. Then after five we have six. Now since we counted to six, we stop and we see how many we drew. We have one, two, two circles. So 
That means 6 minus 4 is 2. Or we could even say that 4 plus 2 will give us 6. And you can check that by, you know, just counting all the circles. So we have 4 here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. And 2 more. Let's count them all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It works. It totally works. Now, I don't want you guys to forget that there is another method we could use to solve subtraction. Do not forget about our quick pictures. So if you're subtracting, you can also use a quick picture and say, you know what? Our big number is 6. Let's draw 6 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we need to take away 4 of them. And all we would do is cross out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And how many are not crossed out? 1, 2. You still have 2 either way. So I say this every video, guys. I know I sound like a broken record, but use what works best for you. If this part part whole chart is working, then keep using it. If you need to draw a quick picture instead, that's fine too. I have no problem with making a quick picture. As long as you're able to finish the math problem and get the correct answer, I'm okay with any method you use. All right? So let's go ahead on to the next page, which is page 82, and we're going to do some practice problems. All right, here's page 82. And you see a little boy up top kind of explaining about part, part whole charts and how they can help you out. Okay, so we're going to go through number one together. And they kind of did for us. That's why I always do it with you guys. Okay, so our big total is five. Okay, this is our total. That's why it's on top. It's Think about it like the king of the castle, right? King of the castle, he owns the chart. So all the smaller numbers have to be underneath. And the one part we have is four dots, right? So now we have five minus four. And if we don't know what it equals, we can write it as an addition sentence and count on. So we have four, and then counting on after four, we have five. And since we, we reached five, we stop, and we look at how many we drew. We drew one circle. So we write a one on the space. So if 4 plus 1 equals 5, then 5 minus 4 must be the same number. It must be 1. We're just using the same parts for both number sentences. This is also called a fact family. We kind of talked about this a little bit before, but three numbers can make multiple addition and subtraction sentences. So we're just using the same three numbers, 5, a 4, and a 1, to make two different number sentences. This is a fact family. We're going to go into this even more later on. All right? Uh, again, also, if you don't like this chart and drawing a quick picture is better for you, you can start by drawing the big number, 5, right? So five circles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you cross out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many do we have left? Just 1. <laughs> and then they, that number goes into both spots. All right? Uh, so I want you to try number 2 on your own. You can either use the part, part, whole chart, or you can use some uh, quick pictures, right? You can draw that out which would be 6 for the big number, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they're taking away 5, so 6 minus 5. If we don't know what it is, we can also add and figure it out. 5 plus how many jumps will take us to 6? All right. Um, oh, almost forgot. If you wanted, wanted to use a number line to figure out the addition part, we can absolutely do that.
Okay, so you can either use the number line, a quick picture, or this chart to solve this. So use what works best for you. I want you to give this a try on your own, and then we're going to go over it together. Okay, if you're still working, pause the video and make sure you try this problem on your own first. If you're all done, let's check your work to make sure you did it correctly. Okay, so we could either write this as 5 plus so many jumps will take us to 6, or we could say 6 minus 5 equals a special number. Now, let's first start with our chart here. Okay, we have 5 and we're counting on, right, all the way to 6. So after five, we have six, and we stop, because we reached it. How many did we draw? We drew one. So five plus one will get us six. Uh, you can also do this with your quick picture. Let's go ahead and cross these out. We already have six circles, and we're taking away how many? Five. So one, two, three, four, five. How many circles do we have left? Just one, right? Same as we got over here. And if you wanted to use the number line, we can do that too. We can start at six and make five jumps backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. We landed on one again. See all these different ways we get the same answer? So six minus five is one, or if we want to write it as an addition sentence because it's all in a fact family, we could say five plus one will give us six. All right, let's do one more practice problem together. Let's go to page 83, and we're going to try this one on our own. All right, so I want you to go ahead and try number three on your own. You can either use the part part whole chart or you can use a number line. Go ahead and solve it on your own. Okay, if you're still working on this, go ahead, pause the video, take your time. If you're already done number three, let's go over it together before I send you off on your own to do some more practice problems. Okay, uh, oh, and we can also, of course, do a quick picture. Let me draw that real quick. Our big number is eight, so we draw eight circles. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so first we can figure this out by counting on, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six circles. And so we count on from six all the way to eight. After six, we have seven. After seven, we have eight. And we stop because we reached eight. And how many do we draw? We drew one, two. So 6 plus 2 can give us 8, right? And whatever answer you get up here is going to be the same thing for the subtraction. 8 minus 6 is 2. And I'll show you that it's the same by cr 
crossing out circles in our quick picture. So we have eight circles, we cross out six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. How many do we have? One, two. Same answer. We can even use a number line. Start at eight. Take away six, so we jump backwards six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We stop, and we still get two. No matter which way you want to solve this, you get two as your answer. So whichever part you write it in first, if you figured it out by doing addition first, it must be the same answer for the subtraction because they are related. So they must have the same three numbers. Okay, I want you to try number four and five all on your own. And then there's also a challenge problem, number six. You can go ahead and give that a try just for fun. When you're done, please go ahead and get the um, extra practice on the back table. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too confusing for you guys. If you're still really confused, make sure you let me know. Uh, but if not, you know, have fun with these math problems. Um, I hope this helped. I'll see you guys later, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day.